Fijo a fizz. Fijos are in season. I have heard about a lot of people making this and I've never tried it myself, so this is a first for me. But it seems like the trendy thing to do. And I'm really trendy, so yeah. Here I have a bag of Fijoa skins that I've been slowly adding to in the freezer. Normally I make muffins with this. I've got a Fijoa muffin recipe, I'll stick the link up here. But um, I just saw this and I thought this could be cool to try. So I've got a couple of jars here. They're about, I think they're, they're a little bit less than a litre, each of these jars. So I want to loosely pack these with the Fijoa skins. Or your helper can do it. And each of these, I want about two tablespoons of sugar. Because I've been harassed before about using a dessert spoon instead of a tablespoon, <laughs> I only just learned the difference. I'm going to use an actual measure. <laughs> so we need two of those in each, so just leave a little. Yep. So just put it all over. Have you put two in each or just one in each? One each. Two in each. So then, let me cover these in water. Now I can see. You need, this is something I haven't thought of yet, we need to have something weighing these down because if these skins come in contact with the air, they run the risk of going mouldy. And if the top of them starts going mouldy, then you actually have to discard the whole batch. So, it means discard. Discard, it means throw away. That right, one's so. This one's similar. We should put this way up so the ear under this doesn't. Hopefully these lids will stop the feeders from floating up to the surface. Right. Then we want to cover these with like a tea towel or a muslin cloth or a chucks cloth or something like that just to let it breathe slightly but still be covered. And we're going to leave that on the bench for about three days. So we need a rubber band or something. You guys got a hair tie up and use? Right. <laughs> right. Put them aside for a few days and we'll monitor their progress. So now I've got to drain out the feed jowers. Got to drain these out into another container. We're gonna put it in a bottle and then we're gonna leave it for another day in the fridge to fizz up. Now, I did have a glass bottle I was gonna put it in, but then I have heard stories of them exploding. But yeah, if you, if you put it in a, in a glass bottle and it does start fizzing up as, as it's meant to, I don't know if it will or not, we'll see. Just wise just to, you know, release the pressure every now and then. Just unscrew the cap a little bit and then put it back. Just that, yeah, we, we don't want stuff exploding. Unless we want it to, that would be cool. Unless we're planning on an explosion. The whole house? Not so much the house. These little liddies tend to have, they've held the feed down nicely. So I was going to use my calendar, but I'm using a sieve instead. My calendar's currently being used for yogurt. So, I'm going to put a muslin cloth over here. I'm missing the handle on this. I might just need to hold it a bit. Right. Let's pull this through here. Green. Oh. Now, of course, the leftover bits of feed jar and stuff, they could just go in a compost or something. How much did that make? That made about 600 mil. 600 mil. Let's get those squeezed out. Does it taste just as is? Yeah. Can I? 
Yeah, you want? Yeah. Actually, it tastes like it's exactly how I'd imagine. The jewelry, watery, yeah. you know? Not yet. Yummy. So, I'll add mm, two okay. tablespoons of sugar into here. Nice. And then decant it into a bottle and we'll mm. leave it in the fridge for a bit. I, I don't think this is very fizzy. Mmm. Mmm. Smells yummy. Excuse the slight chaos in here at the moment. I've been baking, but you know. Feature Right. Are we going to, um, Spider Man, are we going to try? It? Can I use this? No. Are we going to have a sample of this, yeah, guys? Actually, can I use yeah. It? It's not fizzy. But it's feature but it might still be yummy. If anyone wants to let me know what I did wrong here, why it's not fizzy. I'm getting them exactly the same. So otherwise... That would be. Right. That no, this is the little way. What's it like? Too fast for me. Nice! It's all half fizz. Mm. Yeah, it's all the half fizz. It's half fizz. Yeah. Let's, let's have a try of this. It's really nice. This oh, it is really nice though. No, you're not bringing it to school. We meant to take water to school. That is really yummy though. That is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Mmm. Got that definite Fijo a tang, but it's not like sour. It's... Yeah. That is beautiful. Mmm. Fijo a flavour is sort of fizzy, so that's why I called it half fizz. <laughs> it's not fizzy at all, but that is really, really nice. That is a good use of Fijo skins, isn't it, guys? And of course, the skins you discard, as I say, can go in the compost or whatever. Yum! I would highly recommend. Oh, you've taken the mask off. I was just wondering how you were drinking it with the mask on. I highly recommend giving that a go, guys. That is really yummy. So there we go. Hit the like button. Leave us a comment. Let me know why it didn't go fizzy. Did I miss a step? <laughs> but either way, I'll probably look at making that again one day because that is really yummy. That seems to have vanished. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll catch you next time. Bye.